So we're back in film here in Great Howe again. Uh, it's the middle of the project now in June. So we're just gonna have a look at what some of the stuff we've done and how we're getting on. So this is the bit where there was quite a lot of holly previously. Um, it was sort of shading out the rest of the, of the trees and shading out the woodland floor. Uh, the bryophytes underneath it were dying and that's the main reason this is a triple SI is those special bryophytes. So I've sort of trimmed it back first of all, this one for access just to allow the path through, but you can see the sort of dapple light that it's, it's let in and it's just letting those bryophytes come through and it'll let a little bit of regeneration back through as well. So I've just left the waste from the offcuts and the sort of all of the trees we've pulled out uh, just so it'll biodegrade and leave habitats for insects and birds and things and leave dead wood for um, microbiomes. Old. But you can see the difference between this which is just leaves a lot of brown not much growing there and the sort of grassy greener bits with the bryophytes all around it and if we left all the beach in this is what would have happened sort of long term so i have to think about those long term effects of different things and the this sort of slow process of fixing this because if we just cut that straight down it let a lot too much light in and again it would disturb the undergrowth a bit too much so we've just sort of thinned out the bottom of the tree uh, let a little bit of that dapple light in and then we can come back in future after maybe some of the stuff's regenerated underneath. So this is sort of what we're aiming for with the removal of the beach. So just this oak here that's regenerating is coming through um, a lot faster than it was. And previously it was just, you can see the beach that's been cut around it and just left, uh, and this larch here as well, was just shading it out and, and just, just being that bit too much of shade to let it get away. Uh, we've also, controlled the deer in here a bit better so that's helped quite a lot as well so hopefully this is the next crop of oak for this this area so this was previously planted with a mixture of oaks mainly uh, there's some rowan and other things in there but uh, the birch had grown in uh, far too thick and just to give the oaks a chance get them a bit of light just to form a canopy we thinned out the birch around here That'll be last year's growth, and then that is this year's growth, just from giving it that bit of light. <laughs> 